Hey guys, what's happening? So last night, my dual mining rig, my Raptorium uh, Ethereum mining rig, uh, last night, or sometime this morning or last night, thermal throttled and rebooted the system and it shut down and stuck in a BIOS boot screen. So uh, my CPU over actually overheated and right now it's currently running 81 degrees and this is actually a 5800X CPU. I don't know if it says right here. Eight core. So it's my other actually, it's not as good as my other one. My other one's like 5950X. But at the same time, like I said, it, since it actually rebooted the system, it was stuck on a BIOS boot screen, which then prevented the thing from going back into mine again. So I lost a few hours with the mining on the system. So what I was hoping to do is basically maybe go into the BIOS and undervolt this a little bit so I could make this run a little bit cooler. So I'm going to go back. I have an ACS motherboard, and uh, every motherboard is different, the BIOS and how you overclock. So see if I can figure it out on the uh, ASUS. All right, as you can see, it just went up to 87 degrees. Uh, so I haven't even undervolted this thing yet. I just actually added on this because I, it went from 81 to 87. So it's definitely running hot. i, I got to figure that out. All right, so here is the rigging question. Uh, it's actually kind of a hot day. It's November. It's, we have some Santa Ana winds here. Uh, I'm in Southern California, Costa Mesa. But yeah, this one is the one that shut down. I was stuck on the bio screen here. Uh, so this is at 4 RX 5700 XTs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the core clock from the stock is like 3800 uh, 3.8 gigahertz to 4.2 and then undervolt it down to 1 volt. So typically it's about 400 megahertz above and uh, you know lowering the core voltage to lower the uh, it's almost like the same as like a like a GPU. You know, you're undervolting it to lower the temperature and power consumption, but I mean, I don't really. It, it, I'm not lowering the core core voltage to save very much power. It's just really just to make it run cooler. So I got to shut this down. And, uh, I'm gonna do a reboot, and I'm gonna go back into the BIOS settings. So if you want to, this is all my 3D printed stuff. If you want that, uh, on my Thingiverse page. Alright, I'm going to hit delete key, then the BIOS hopefully, if you can see on the screen. Alright, so my current settings on a 5800X CPU is uh, 3.8 gigahertz at 1.454 volts V-Core. I'm going to change that to 4.2 and 1.1 volt. So it's like the same thing with the Gigabyte BIOS. You have to use the plus and minus key to change it. So you, you scroll over it, highlight it, and then use the plus or minus key to switch it from auto. So 1.1 volt. So before I actually go ahead and do, I'm gonna do a reboot just to make sure that this thing doesn't crash. So let's go back and we'll do a save exit. Yes. All right, I'm gonna make sure I go back in the BIOS again. Hit the delete key. This thing reboots pretty fast. It's faster than my screen. Okay, good. Okay, so I want to confirm. Uh, okay, so pretty close in there. Frequency, that's what I'm mainly concerned about, is I wanted to make sure the voltage was lower. Alright, I'm gonna go back and change the multiplier now. Alright, so on the V core ratio, I'm gonna do 42. That's a multiplier, so 42 would be 4.2 gigahertz, and the stock is 3.8 gigahertz. So I'm going to hit uh, escape, cancel, go back, exit, yes, alright, okay, 4.2 gigahertz, and one point, or less than 1.1 volt, one more exciting, I forgot, precision boost overdrive, you want to disable that, because it will actually make the uh, hash rate more stable. Just My mouse is a little janky. Precision boost overdrive disabled. Alright. Alright, so it's been a couple hours and we're definitely looking good. 1.1 volt definitely made a huge difference. Um, so right now we're at about 68 degrees. And it, it fluctuated anywhere from like about uh, 78 to 88. So um, that's a huge difference, like 15 to 20 degree difference. 
But uh, yeah, I, I even actually boosted up the uh, core clock to 4.2 gigahertz. So um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely not as good as my 5950X, but I mean, it gets probably about, a, about half the hash rate, you know, because it has about half the amount of cores. So you'd think. Um, let me bring up the uh, flock miner here, or flock pool. So there is, that's the actual rig that we just worked on. So not bad. All right, cool. Yeah, like I said, that was kind of a I mean, I, I woke up this morning and my, my system was shut down. So, um, all right, guys, cool.